Now let's look at the graph of the secant of x. The secant of x is the reciprocal of the cosine of x. So let's start with the graph of the cosine x, which I have here, and plot our values for the secant of x based on the reciprocal relationship. I've chosen some key, easy to compute values for the cosine of x here. Um, at when x equals 0, the cosine of x equals 1. So the reciprocal of 1 is 1, and we end up with a point for the secant graph as well at 0, 1. So we'll start with that point. Now, um, if we think about what's happening at 60 degrees, I like the cosine of 60 because the cosine of 60 is 1 half, and its reciprocal would be 2. So at 60 degrees, we should get a value of 2 for the secant. So 60 comma 2. At negative 60, we should also get a value of 2. At 30 degrees, the cosine has a value of the square root of 3 over 2. And its reciprocal would be 2 over the square root of 3. So at 30 degrees, we should see 2 over the square root of 3. And there's another point. Now, at negative 30, we should see the same thing, because the cosine of 30 and the cosine of negative 30 are both the same value. Cosine's an even function. At 90 degrees, we have a value of 0 for the cosine. Cosine of 90 equals 0, and 1 over 0 is undefined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an asymptote there at 90 degrees. And at negative 90, I'll see the same issue arise. The cosine of negative 90 is also 0, so again we'll be undefined and we'll need another asymptote there at negative 90. Now, between 60 and 90, we can see that the cosine graph is getting smaller and smaller, lo lower and lower values for y, until they approach 0. If we take the reciprocal, or 1 over, values that are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, we'll see that they grow and get larger and larger and larger. So if I anticipate that pattern, I can see that I'll get something that as we get closer to 90 degrees, I simply get larger and larger. And as I get closer to negative 90, I get larger and larger. So between negative 90 and 90, we get this U shape, similar to a parabola, but not quite. Um, if we want to expand or extrapolate into values on either side of 90 or negative 90, we can see that, we'd, that we would have the same relationships except our reciprocal and our values are negative. So instead of an upward facing U, we would have a downward facing U. I'm going to clear all our scribbles here and look at the graph of the secant of x. And we can see how it relates to the graph of the cosine of x. The secant of x, if we let it stand alone, is simply a set of alternating up and down u shapes, whose magnitude or distance for each u shape is 180 degrees. The first positive is negative 90 to 90. And then the downward facing u goes from 90 to 270. 
since we need both an upward and a downward u to complete the pattern for the secant, we know that the period for the secant is 360 degrees.